Alright YouTube, today we're going to play another donation deck list benefiting the Barrero uh, Brothers Wrestling. They're a part of the uh, wrestling for the Canadian national team. So if you'd like to see your deck played here, just donate either to the Barreros directly or donate to my Streamlabs and then send me some information on Twitter. So we're going to play some Martin Pyromancer. We all know about this deck. It was kind of really good in the former format, and we're going to see how it is now. I'm going to run it through league, give it a whirl. So let's competitive modern league. I played this deck at a Grand Prix uh, when I was at a team tournament. Competitive Modern League. So I do like what it's doing. I mean, it's just a really good grindy deck. Sort of five converted mana cost, and we're already in. Just a sweet, good old grindy mid-range deck. So we should be able to play some fun magic tonight. <clears throat> I would like to play first. All right, and I would like to keep. We're going to lead off with an Inquisition of Kozilek because we don't know what we're looking for with our Faithless Looting. All right, so probably just take the Teferi, or I could take the Spell Pierce. I'll probably be able to, well, this Teferi is just annoying. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Teferi. That might not be correct to do, but it is what we are going to do. All right, so now we can go like this. Ditch at least a couple lands. Yeah, we're going to ditch at least a couple lands. So I could go like this, this, and then I can go fetch shock and go again. Though I am running pretty low on cards if I do this, but oh, I should have taken the surgical extraction. That was stupid. I just zoned out. Yeah, forget about that like this matters in my deck. We're gonna counter this one, okay? Forget about surgical actually matters when I uh, am playing this deck. Like it's not just like a main deck dud card. Spell pierce. Okay, so instead of inquisitioning my opponent, I'm just gonna flash back this surgical. Because I think if I thought sees my opponent, then they will just, um, they will just, they will just surgical my lootings. We have to turn this into something. Okay, so let's get rid of that, this, and then <clears throat> I kind of want this Chandra. But I also want the Kolagon's command. Maybe the Chandra's is too slow. Because, like, being able to go Young Pyromancer Inquisition next turn is nice. Maybe I just ditch the Kolagon's command. I have, like, three Kolagon's commands in my deck, right? Yeah, I have three. I'm going to ditch a Kolagon's command. Because, like, we're going to find answers to that eventually. We're going to find, like, more of those eventually. Ops, the cool footed strand. I would assume this is a rough matchup for the home team. Okay. Alright, there's Teferi. Annoying, but okay. Alright. I'm just going to play this. Because I could just slam my Chandra right now, but they'll just minus it, and I don't really get very much out of it. I could have gone Chandra, tick up, play Pyromancer, I guess. Well, if my opponent just snipes my Bloodstained Mire, that would suck. Whoop. Close that out. They... Extract my looting. Uh, 
Might be in trouble here. Yep. I mean, at least one of these two cards can attack the Jace. And if they just play, like, they just play Jace and tap out, then I can play this Chandra. But... Yeah, I'm just going to attack this, play Chandra, and tick up now. Unless I find a spell to go with this Pyromancer, I think. Yeah, I don't even think that one's... Well... The Chandra's going to be really good in with the... Uh, with the whatever it is the um young pyromancer so i'm actually just gonna play both of them so let's go attack jace play chandra make mana and then play pyromancer and again i don't want to i don't really want to get any basics like blood moon isn't a isn't a realistic draw at the moment and um this is um this is the same guy donated two decks so i'm playing that one right now kiki jiki is on the list for tonight as well got that one right here that's the next deck i need a warm-up okay so teferi field of ruin no we're not playing death shadow tonight because i'm doing um donation for the barrero wrestling and people wanted to see this deck. All right, that's a nice draw. So let's start with Chandra. Oh. Lightning Helix entered the exile zone. Oh, I can't cast it because of this. Ooh, I messed up. All right, well, let's discard. Barrero Wrestling is um, their... Two people for the Native American. Um, there are two people that are looking. Oh, I don't forget what I was going to say. There are two people. Um, gosh, I'm losing my mind. Tom and Phil are Barreros that are that I played Magic with while I was in school, and they're looking to raise money because they're looking to be a part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. All right, so I'm just going to Dreadbore this Jace and then attack and kill um attack and kill to fairy no I'm a dreadboard excuse me my dreadboard to fairy and then attack and kill Jace and then get in for a point what's in the legacy oh nice yeah the dismember was good it sucks that I can't use my Lightning Helix, because then I would have the Dreadbore already set up for this Jace. Okay, so there's a Colonnade for our opponent. So we're kind of going wide on them. They're not really doing a lot. Like They, they can, like, yeah, they, they didn't even give themselves the option to go into a path. Now their Jace just dies. Like, they could have just played Blast Zone, and then I guess they couldn't wipe the tokens away. All right, let's start with this. Oh, right here. There you go. Start with this. I'm going to thought seize. They might have left a card in their hand. Oh, they hit Snapcaster Mage and Path to Exile? You don't say. Let's get rid of Snapcaster. And I'm going to attack my opponent. Attack Jace. Attack Jace. Attack Jace. The Chandra's gonna ultimate next turn. Okay, they have a Terminus. That makes sense for them to have. Might be in a little bit of trouble now. But it depends on what they do with this colonnade. Like they might just fire this up and attack my Chandra, which buys us a lot of time. I need something good. Pyrancer is something. 
And we're going to cast it. And then I can Thought Seize. That puts me down to two life. But if they they can just attack me, then attack me. But then my this lives. Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, I actually don't think it's worth firing off this Thought Seeds because they're just going to path this. I get a token. I go to seven. Then it's attack, attack. Then I go attack, 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 which gives me more time. And that's the case I want a token because I do have like a little bit of burn in the deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Thought Seeds. Like if they just try to kill me, then, um, then that's okay. Because I get another look off of this. And my basically because my Chandra lives. Okay. If they go after my Chandra, then I can at least maybe start to race this colonnade. Okay, so they went after that. Which we kind of thought was gonna happen. So now I can start to like chip in an attack. And then hopefully get them to like within reach. All right, we're gonna get our planes, but we don't have a planes. Ooh, that's bad. Well, that's not a bad draw for the home team. Shuts this off and shuts off the and shuts off the blast zone. Just gonna attack. I'm not gonna play my land. It doesn't matter. It comes in play untapped because of Blood Moon anyways. Terminus the way. You got it. Feather Brother would be a nice draw. Whew. All right. So let's just play this. And let's hope this resolves. All right. Nice. All right, I'm just going to pass. I could Bedlam Reveler again, but I'd like to keep my Lightning Bolt. Because then it makes this Reveler lethal. And I should do it on my turn. That's another nice draw. So I'm going to get in here with an attack. I'm going to bolt my opponent before damage. Because the prowess gives us a point. That's okay. Play another one. Play this. And I'm do I'm just doing this because I've got um I have another reveler, so like even if they terminus me it's not that bad. Okay, so against blue white, I assume we want this. Kaya doesn't do anything. Pithing Needle is probably decent. Molten Rain is also probably decent. So we want these. Lightning Helix is probably not that great. Fatal Push is also not that great. It does kill Colonnade, but I think I'd rather just keep my Incidental Burn in. Like, I'm going to keep in my Lightning Bolts because it's going to pressure my opponent's, my opponent's life total. Like, we can turn into kind of like a little bit of a burn deck with Chandra, Colgon's Command, and Bolt. I guess Cambal is also good. So, I guess I'll cut two Lightning Bolts also. Be less of a burn deck. Blood Moon might be a little loose on the draw. What does Wear Tear do for me? Wear Tear might be okay. Wear Tear needs to like search for his Kanta. They have Detention Sphere. Uh. Is it weird that I actually don't even like these Blood Moons against this deck? Like, it worked there, but I think like the Blood Moons kind of suck and it'd be better to just have like a random assortment of like burn to 
to be able to like make it so that our lingering souls tokens are much more are much scarier. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I might board them back in on the play. But even though they were good in that game, I'm not sure that it's like they're actually good. figure that out we're gonna keep this opponent mulligans how's it going teddy i think i'm just gonna cast this yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be going a little bit harder we can get rid of this and we probably can get rid of this as well it's gonna be a little more magic for me because we're gonna be we're making money for the for Tom and Phil we're already 75 76 bucks in I could not do this I guess then I would have ran into that they have a they have a yace yace is a little scary but I can just molten rain him next turn they're probably gonna do. Probably just gonna whack this colonnade. Go get a white source. Well, hold the phone. Yep, we're 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 raising money for them. For two Olympic Olympic people. All right, give me your yes. And now we just grind him into the dirt. Okay, path is like annoying, but I'm just gonna get a swamp. One, two, three. Kind of seems like a flashback, um, a flashback faithless looting kind of a turn. Because I could just molten rain, that doesn't really do too much. This Colorgon's command doesn't really do anything either. But neither does the lightning bolt. I could just ditch Bolt land. Now I want to be able to go. I'm going to ditch Bolt Colorgon's command. Oh, I should have ditched my Lingering Souls. That was a mistake. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I should ditch Souls. That was a mistake. Because then I can flash Souls back and have like a little bit more on the board. Blast Zone. Blast Zone is cute. Alright, I'm going to fetch. We only can do one Reveler at a time, though, right? Because we're going to discard all of our cards. So we know my opponent has a Wrath in their hand. So why don't I just go... Do this. If we know my opponent has a wrath, I kind of just want to go Pyromancer into Whack This Colonnade with the Molten Rain. Then if they counter this, it's like we still have a really good follow-up. If they want to, like, whatever, charge up their Blast Zone and kill the Pyromancer, sure. I'd rather just kill the card that's going to, like, end up attacking me. I guess it's better to kill the Blast Zone. Yeah, I should have got rid of Bolt and uh, and uh, I should have got, got rid of Lingering Soul so I could at least cast that next turn. And now if they spend their whole turn blowing up this Pyromancer, then we still have like two things on the board. It's a fairy. Our opponent has a hero. That's bad.
Now I need a lightning bolt. That's not good. Ditch both of these. The problem is we can't even play in because we know they have the wrath. We found a discard spell. So we're gonna ditch Molten Rain and Lingering Souls. I'm going to attack this to Fairy. Oh. Uh, Nihilistic Druid with a sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. And then we're going to Thought Seize that uh, Terminus. And now we still kind of have this Teferi covered. Hopefully they don't rip a Wrath. But if they rip a Wrath, we still have a really good follow-up in Bedlam Reveler plus... Um, they should have done that on my turn, right? Bedlam Reveler plus Lingering Souls. So we're just kind of embracing the grind. Appreciate the sub there, Nihilistic Druid. Thank you very much. You are great. This kill, okay. My opponent untaps two lands. So the scariest thing they can do is like Snapcaster Mage Path. So that means if I send four tokens at Teferi, we're good. So attack to fairy, attack to fairy, attack to fairy, attack to fairy, attack my opponent. Snapcaster path to fairy still dies. And now I think we just gas out. We play our land. Well, I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna ditch the Molten Rain. I might, I might actually ditch. My opponent missed the land drop. So they have spells. I could just keep both of these. Like hitting a land drop plus a Planeswalker next turn is actually probably gonna be pretty nice. Oh shoot, that sucks. We got purged. We're gonna get a hard cast though. All right, well, I mean, this is going to, like, show me target settle the wreckage. I guess, and then I can attack accordingly. I'm going to ops. Snapcaster path. That's all right, I'm still just going to Molten Rain one of their lands and then just attack with my five dudes. I don't even think, I'm not going to flashback Lingering Souls because... We're just gonna be a little conservative. Let me attack with my guys. Get in here. I was on that no block train. All right, they just scooped it out. Okay. Well, we outgrinded the blue white menace. I'm gonna grab some tea while we're waiting for the next match spot. We timed out. All right, rejoin the queue. Get my tea going. 
That was a good first round. Good first round. Starting the stream off with the W. All these decks here that I'll be playing in the in the recent or in the near future are going to be decks where the proceeds all go to the Barrero Brothers. In the chat, you can check out exclamation point wrestling to get some more details on what they're doing. Um, you can go just Barrero's Brothers Wrestling on Facebook and you'll be able to find information about them. If you donate $10, I will play your deck. Then if you're watching on YouTube, all the information about them will be linked below. Excuse me. So, you should check them out. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. We're not going to lead on Inquisition because we would rather, we're not going to lead on Fatal Soaking because we'd rather just Inquisition because we know what we're looking for. I've currently in my deck queue have um I've got like blue red oh we're playing against oh deputy detention that card's annoying scavenging news is much more annoying so I'm just gonna take this scavenging news we take the noble but like if we don't find an answer to it that's pretty mopey so in the queue so far, we got Legacy Lands and Legacy Elves that I'll play this weekend. And then tonight, we're going to play two out of the three of Tron, Myru Pyromancer, and uh, Blue Red Splinter Twin. Or Blue Red Kiki. We're going to be 100% on it. All right, Horizon Canopy, Noble Hierarch is good. That's some four-color mid-range deck. All right, that's not a bad draw. So let's loot. Um, it might just be like Chandra's probably gonna be pretty good at some point. It might just be like Nahiri Bedlam Reveler because Bedlam Reveler, it's gonna be so slow to get Bedlam Reveler going that I'm just gonna ditch it. But then I'm gonna go fetch a basic swamp and I'm gonna thought seize this deputy of detention. Ooh, another company. All right, well, now I'm going to take the collective company. And I'll just sandbag this Chandra. Like, just flashback Lingering Souls next turn. Dude, I like tea. I like all drinks. Whether it's from lemon water to tea to coffee to beer. I love all. All drinks are great. He's going to run this out here. Knight of the Reliquary. That could be a problem. So we played Hollowed Fountain. All right. I'm going to go get a Mountain. And then I'm going to flash back Faithless Looting. We have, I, have to find, I have to find an answer to this Knight or I'm in trouble. All right. We're going to get rid of this. And probably this the Chandra is good but it might be too slow I'm gonna get rid of the Chandra because no I'm gonna get rid of the planes because like next turn I go like Pyromancer Inquisition take the deputy detention I know my opponent's hand what's he gonna do with this sack of land sack of land make this a 4-4 four, four. Maybe I just go Inquisition, but then it just dies to that. Yeah, I'm just going to ditch both of these. If my opponent, the problem is even if my opponent doesn't play this, they can kill it with Exalted. So I have to go like, I have to make a board before I deal with this Pyromancer or deal with this Knight of the Reliquary. And the sad thing is the Knight of the Reliquary could just go get like, Kessig Wolf Run, which makes my... Wow, that's... Hmm. We have a spell caller. Please don't have hit a spell caller on me. Oh, they hit a spell caller. 
Vomit. Vomit. All right, well, now I'm in trouble. Oh, you hit another spell? I can't beat that. Tracker. Yeah, I'm just like super dead. And then they get a million clues. Yeah, I'm dead. Because even if, like, we're not going to beat the clues going long. Oh. What a beating. What does Kaya do? So Kaya fights Knight of the Reliquary. I don't want to board this in just because it's cool. Kaya fights Knight of the Reliquary, can kill Noble Hierarch, and gain us some life. So, like, that's, that card's in the solid maybe camp. Not really interested in Blood Moon against the Hierarch deck. Um. All my lingering souls are fine. Lightning Helix is probably my worst removal spell. Lightning Helix just isn't going to do anything. Which is going to have four bolts. Uh, I'm boarding in the kayak because I want to. Because I can gain life and I can shrink Knight of the Reliquary. That's why we're boarding in Kaya. And because it's sweet, I haven't played with it yet. I actually haven't played with it in standard or in modern. All right, we'll keep this. I'll shock myself on one. Oh, I probably actually shouldn't have kept this. It is pretty poor, now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm just going to take... God, all of these cards are just so hard to beat. Well, if I take Noble Hierarch, my opponent can't cast anything. So that's what we're going to do. And hope my brother, my opponent doesn't rip away to... Ace of Heath. It's not a bad draw. Yield until next end step. Gonna go get a Godless Shrine. And now I'll just cast Lingering Souls. They don't have Godless Shrine in this deck. Forgot about that. I played Godless Shrine in the GP, but that's because I played two Liliana the Veils. Soul Power. Take it easy. Ghost Quarter. The old Ghost Quarter combo. Alright, so they're going to play... Voice of Resurgence? Kitchen Fangs, okay. Well, that should be good. I'm just going to get this in play while the spell caller is not there. And then I'll just like figure it out eventually. I'm just gonna attack because I'm gonna want all my token, all of my, uh, all of my one ones. I could just K command to go like hit hit so that I don't have to deal with like I can play on my opponent's turn.
Then I guess I'll just try to manage. My opponent plays a creature, then all of a sudden they can't. They path a token. I'll just attack with one. Okay, still can't play. Still can't play Spellcrawler or attack me. Just gonna deal with the board. My opponent wants to path one of these and they can do that. All right, well now we can play Bedlam Reveler. So I guess we're, we came here to play Bedlam Reveler. Kind of gas us back up. We don't need a lot. They probably have like Kasali Pride Mage or um, I'd be willing that they have something like a Kasali Pride Mage. In their deck. Now I'm just going to hold my land. Sick, I can attack with both my creatures. I messed up. So now I know they can play this spell queller. Alright, whatever. If they want to double block, they can double block. I'm just gonna kill the spell queller on my opponent's end step here. Okay. Might do it right now. Now, if my opponent wants to waste their mana on their turn, they can do that. All right, so we're in the beginning of combat. I'm just gonna push this. Make sure the thing can't attack. And if they spell color, they spell color at whatever. Like I'll just kill the spell color and then push something else when that's convenient. We're kind of just playing a waiting game now. It's been a weird game. All right, so you just let that occur. This is nice, because now, like, they bring in, they play the Spell Queller. I'm going to kill this. Cast. Play the Queller. Or flash this back while my opponent can't do anything. Now we just attack, and we'll just power them out through the air, probably. To a pretty quick and easy one. Bird is the word. Probably could have fired off my Inquisition first, see, because they have spell color. Yeah. Whatever, I'm still gonna attack anyways. Well, maybe, maybe I won't. All right. This was, this is, this was not the greatest play from the home team here. Opponent still can't attack. Okay. All right, nice for you. Yeah, we look, we're looking good. Courser is annoying. Right, the reliquary is also annoying. Oh, those cards don't do anything. Oh, I'm 
gonna flash back my looting. I should have done that before I attacked, but I guess by keeping a card in my hand. Yeah, I need to keep a card in my hand, so. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a card next turn. Okay, well. Wee. Wee. Bandle Rattler is a fun card to play with. Okay, so my opponent can now attack me, but that's not the end of the world. They play Night of the Reliquary. They can't do anything, so they just die. All right. Um. I'm kind of tempted to cut these now that my opponent saw them. I think I'm going to. I'm going to cut cut them now that my opponent saw them in play. Lightning Helixes will do something. So they have that many spell colors. Yeah, I could have played a land. And then they wouldn't have been able to attack. But I'd like to be able to loot the land away in case shit hits the fan, I think. Yeah, we were in a good spot. All right, this hand is decent. Susceptible to getting run out. Like, if we see a turn one bird from our opponent, it's going to be pretty scary. Yep, yeah, that's, that's scary. We have, like, eight, six draws would be great right now. That's one of them. Sometimes you just have to believe. This is going to be a nice little... I think I'm actually going to play Pyromancer. Well, now I'm just asking to get ramped. Am I okay getting ramped? No, because if my opponent is a... a uh, if my opponent has a... Whatever it is, like a collecting company, I want a thought seize. Yeah, I've been whacked by bridge so many times. And we're doing it like this because we want to know like what we're looking for. Oh, that's a good hand. Um It's probably just Eternal Witness. Because the, the, because we, because they might not play tracker next turn if they don't hit a land, so I'm just gonna take this witness, and now we're gonna loot. Another discard spell is pretty good. We don't need this and this though. Maybe. Tracker, did you hit a land? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. We should have known they should crack it right now. They always hit that land. I need a land here. Bad. Tilt. Yeah, I'm just going to take care of this. We can deal with the knight. The knight's going to be annoying, but like... We can figure it out. It hits the best land too. What do you mean? Oh, you drew a collected company. Why are you gonna do that to me? All right, well, I'm just gonna play this. Wow. gonna crack clues to board out your spell colors all right well that was a tame company well that's not there's nothing tame about that one yeah especially i'm a tracker for sure all 
Okay, so my opponent's got a deputy attention on top as well. I'm super dead. Yeah. We're dead. Did it? All right, let's jump back into it. Good match. We just kind of missed that one turn that we needed to. Opponent's hand was pretty good. Like, opponent hit and we missed. Like, hitting that land drop was really good because it gets stuff off the tracker. Like, if they just play Knight of the Reliquary and don't hit a land drop, there's a chance that we can, like, you know, if we, then we hit a land, we can go, like, kill Knight, discard, tracker. And then we're kind of in a good spot. It's a moto bug. Dude, moto bugs are great. It's, it's not a bug, it's a feature. All right, this hand's pretty good. Gonna start with Black Leaf Pliss into Inquisition, though. That's just magic online, though. It's a bug in any other game, but it's a feature because it's Modo. Alright, get rid of that. Sorcerer Spyglass is not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna get rid of the Whirr. So now I'm actually going to. I'm going to loot before I discard. Shouldn't have played my land. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Go get Blood Crypt. Oh, I can't fetch a black source. No. God, I hate how this deck doesn't play the Godless Shrine. I messed up by playing my land first. That's because, like, I determined that, like, I knew what my opponent's hand is, so I wanted a Faithless Looting to see what I hit before I discard spelled them. So I, should, I just shouldn't have played my land. I'm going to take the whir because the whir is like it could be anything and I would rather like know this is a bottle cloister alright we're just going to get rid of that uh, $10 and I'll play it Like, there's obviously some sort of, like, you know, tug and go, but, like, it'd have to be pretty dumb to not do it. What do we got here? We got, we have a pretty easy flashback of looting. If new rivulet, so we know the hand. Exile target enchantment, tapped artifact, or tapped creature. I guess I'll just wait and K command the one that he does. Oh, I mean, I'll do it. Exclamation point wrestling. I forgot to put the Barrero's Facebook um, link in there. Barrero Brothers Wrestling. I have to I have to go redo that. But this right here, I used to play I used to play Magic with the Barreros, and now they're trying to be um, part of the whatever it is. The um, part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. Alright, so we're just going to go K command, make you discard, get rid of this bridge.
One, two, three, four. So let's just flash this looting back. Kind of gets me further away from, but we're going to put this in the graveyard anyways. Okay, so... Bigger that and that. I'm going to play my land and then pass. Yeah, I messed up my land sequencing so bad this game. Now they have an Academy Ruin. Academy Ruins is annoying as all hell. Guess I'm just going to go... Now, nah, I should play the Nahiri. Because the Nahiri gives me a chance to, like, find what I'm looking for. But I'm going to have to do, like, a million damage in one turn. Just cloud my account, my donations. Nope. Johnny did do a donation here. Let's check this out. And it has to be dollars. Blue white control. Okay, let's put that on the list here. Um, sorry about this. I'm, I'm kind of um, percent. Um, what's Johnny's name? Yes. Discard this. Colgon's command's a good hit. The problem is we just have to like deal a, our opponent a million damage. So return bottle cloister. Okay, so they exile their cards. I should have kept my land and discarded the Thoughtseize. Sorry about that. I'm trying I'm trying to like do two things at one time. Johnny set ten dollars and you dub control. No. Yes. Alright, how do I do this here? I mean obviously. Donate to our friends. Yeah, Johnny, you don't have to say that. <laughs> at all. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out how I navigate my way out of this, and I don't really know how. Yeah, that's that's tough. So, how do I win? I can like play Lingering Souls to start getting a clock going, but I have to kill this Buzz Bottle Cloister doesn't matter. I need to get a clock going because they're just gonna recur the Bottle Cloister. Because like killing it doesn't matter. Making my opponent discard doesn't matter. I don't wanna play Bedlam Reveler because I wanna keep my cards. Oh no, we're having computer problems. Man, I've been having some computer issues lately. Which has been very frustrating. It's like I have to like clean out my computer or something like that. back on it or I need to like update my OBS I haven't done that in a long time 
So my OBS just reconnected. Probably actually have to just update OBS. I haven't done that in a in a god in a dog's age. Okay. So let's discard our thought sees. Play Pyromancer. Flashback Lingering Souls and start attacking. My opponent returns and snaring bridge. Okay. I need to like deal my opponent enough damage. All right, so let's go. I'm just gonna make them destroy. We can just get it back though. God, this is rough. Maybe I just have to try to deal like enough da like enough damage in like one fell swoop to just kill my opponent. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm just gonna try to one shot my opponent. We have enough burn where we should be, like we might be able to do it. All right, get rid of this. Get rid of that. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. I could also just go like hit this. No, nah, I want to wait on that. I guess what I could do is I could play Young Pyromancer. I could go get a Pyromancer to make two more tokens. That doesn't still doesn't feel great. Uh, yes, discard this Helix. Oh yeah. Well, like, I'm trying to think about what our best line to do is here. I, I, I'm, it's not coming to me. I think it's just our best option, right? Like, I don't... We've got four... Like, we've got... How much, how much power do we have? We have nine power... I guess they go do that. That gets them Crucible of Worlds. Crucible means they continue to recur. Damping Sphere. This is gross. All right, well, that's something at least. Just make some tokens. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. This is a word. Where goes, oh, this is going to go get, what are you going to get here? Welding jar. Welding jar is going to make things more difficult. All right, word for three. That means I'm just locked out of the game, right? Because there's double bridge and they have a jar. Kept the jar in their hand. Oh, they kept the jar in their hand. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know. I don't even, I can't even like think of a path to win the game now. Because with, with two bridges and a jar.
I'm just gonna scoop this up here. Yeah, we just don't have a way to like way to get it. Okay. What does Campbell do? Whenever your opponent has a non-creature spell. Alright. I'm in for that. I'm kind of in for this. Exile two cards. I don't know if that does anything. This is good. Fatal push is not good. Lightning helix is not good. I don't even think Nahiri's that good. Nahiri didn't do anything in that game. I could like needle Academy Ruins, which I'm probably in for. So let's get rid of this. They don't have, they have hardly anything that casts one. Cost one, but I probably could just bring it in because it exiles cards in the graveyard. No, that's just bad. Let me see what this looks like. Now Terminate and Dreadboard don't do anything. Though they might have Psy after sideboard. All right, I'm gonna submit like this. I've lost so many games to Psy. I would like to play first. I'd like to keep. This hand's pretty solid. I lead off with a discard spell, then I can go discard spell into looting. Then we're kind of doing it. Yeah, maybe it was good. Imagine my opponent just keeps and goes ley line. I just go like right click concede. Concede game. Walkers four days. I kind of just want to take Ancient Stirrings. But if I just take Crucible, then it makes my Molten Rain better. I'm going to take Stirrings and I'm going to Thought Seize the Crucible. Like, just going to try to get them here. And then Molten Rain. I'm like guard on the inside of me from games from because oh, of Psy. Like I'm all like I don't think I'm ever gonna lose a game to Psy again after playing against it with Ironworks. Alright, so let's go like this first. We want to see what we draw. We drew Blood Moon. I just want to take this crucible. Your engineering explosives is annoying. No, I'm gonna take the E. Then we're gonna rip a basic swamp, like a professional. Yeah, if you guys donate $10, I will play any deck you want on stream. Unfortunately, we can't really do that. I don't really want them to just get free reign to land this Crucible next turn. So maybe we just don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm just going to start flashing these back because I'm pretty okay with, like, Flashing these back and then just like blood mooning. Because both their planeswalkers cost five, so we're gonna have time to 
get at least four souls into play and then just attack. No, not now or not. I'm going to get both of these in play, and then I'm going to moon them next turn, because none of my lands will cast anything. At least they won't cast Lingering Souls. So my opponent can now... Explosives... Oh, they're just going to spell sky. That's so much better for me. All right, I'm just going to play this. I just hope these lingering souls do it. Ether grid. Okay. I should needle the ether grid. Gear up her ether grid. That's what we're doing. That's what we're looking for here. Hopefully, that didn't just like screw me like like the creatures don't get the ability ee for one it's rude all right let's get in there with another little old attack yeah we might be in trouble this game if we lose the game to our own blood moon that's like embarrassing super super embarrassing Maybe I should have, I don't know. Just prime. Attack, and then we're a flashback looting. Let's see if we can figure this out. All right, we most assuredly do not need these molten rains. All right, there's our basic. Basic swamp doesn't really do that much. Probably just ditch terminate and Cambal. I mean, lightning bolt might kill them. Dude, molten rain doesn't do anything, right? With the blood moon in play, it just it just three damage do a land, right? Unless I'm wrong and the Molten Rain still, like, still deals them damage. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, my opponent has one blue mana. Does it? Is that how it works? Yeah, that is exactly how it works. That is exactly how it works. It does. I didn't know that. I, I assumed that, like, because it was a land. I thought, yeah, I thought Blood Moon turned it into, like, a mountain. But I should have known. Because, like, Dryad Arbor is a 1 1 mountain, right? Molten Rain was the way to win the game. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, and then I just stopped there. Squaw Chief with the host, much appreciated, sir. I hope your I hope your stream was good. I appreciate everyone for coming over. If you're just tuning in from Squaw Chief stream, my name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, we're currently doing a uh, donation deck list to benefit the Barrero Wrestling 
brothers uh, from they're trying to be they're trying to make it onto Canada's national team. And they used to play Magic, where I learned to play Magic, and uh, they're trying to raise a little bit of money to help pay some of their expenses. So you can read about that right here. All right, so now I have to figure out like how I'm realistically going to deal all the last points of damage to my opponent. I could just go like shatter shock like i could just play how does that work see this is another thing like colagon's command return destroy target artifact deal two damage to any target change a target of a spell or ability so it's already a target so i should be able to go play young pyromancer go shatter shock and then at least like they're not doing that much to me so that that is what we are going to do because then my lightning bolt can deal damage to them next turn. So destroy target artifact, deal two damage to any target. How does he redirect the shock? This is already a target of the ability. No, I'm trying to race, right? Because he just discards this Tezzeret, or one of these Tezzerets, and then the other one just beats me, right, if they hit it. That's so weird. Why doesn't it, like, it's already a target. I hate magic rules. I hate rules. All right, I'm going to just get... I'm going to discard the cam ball, I guess. I at least have my white sword, so if I draw Lingering Souls, I can play it. You think it electrolyze? Okay. All right, so they put another artifact on them. They're just dead, because... Yeah. All right. Blood Moon got him. So we learned a lot in that game. I kind of want these lightning bolts back in my deck because apparently the only way we're going to win is we just cheese them out of the game I didn't see a Psy that entire game and they just had the planeswalkers so maybe they don't even have Psy Yes, we did learn Blood Moon makes Lands Mountains. You are correct. I think we're just going to hit Submit and go with it. So after this league, we're going to play some of some Kiki Jiki. Um, some Kiki Jiki. Blue Red. We're going to play that. All right, so at least we're going to be kind of set up to, for Blood Moon. My opponent Mulligan, nice. I'm going to fetch Basic Mountain, Basic Swamp here, so that we can be prepared for our Blood Moon. Wow, I don't even have to do that. How lucky. What they do with their scry? Put a card on top. I really just want to take this. One of these word. They're not. They're never going to be able to cast these words at this point. I'm just going to take this engineer explosives and go to town. Yeah, this cannonball is going to be nice. All my time with Dylan, the shadow had me looking at. Why are we shocking? What am I doing? All right. Um, so we know our opponent's hand is a bunch of garbage. Inventor's Fair. Okay. I'm just going to play Lingering Souls, I think. 
Which puts the most power on the board. Lingering Souls puts the most power on the board. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're we're going for the power. Basically, if I play Lingering Souls, my opponent can whir for an EE, but then we can K command it. Another Spire. So now my opponent can whir. Notably, they can whir for two. They're gonna be able to whir for three next turn. So tense. I guess we're gonna go Thought Seize and then like K Command, whatever they get. So I should play my land first. And then I'm gonna fetch in response to a Whir of Invention. Okay, take a Whir. Get this. Take another whir. My opponent whirs for some derpy two drop. They probably can just get. Probably getting explosives would actually be pretty good for my opponent. Because like explosives at least like slows the game down here. But this this makes it so that they can't instant speed go get um. Oh, spell sky. Okay, that's fine too. Like. The reason we did that there is so that they couldn't, um, they couldn't next turn go get a bridge. Now we're just like kind of in a, kind of in an okay spot. This my, my opponent plays blit, plays a, uh, whatever the dumb card is, we're not in a great spot. EE, -E. all right. That was not a bad rip for my opponent. Yeah, I'm recording the leagues. All right, let's get in here and attack. And then I'm probably just going to draw step. Actually, as soon as my opponent um, cracks this. Yeah, see, they're going to take it so that they can crack this Inventor's Fair. All right, let's see what they get. And then I might as well go shatter, discard, make them pay two life. Because I, I would rather just have my tokens than have this spell skite in play. Hang on. Destroy target artifact. Target player discards a card. Destroy target artifact. And then like this trades for a either the spell sky or the welding jar. Yeah. I am. I am, sir. So you can just go sack. But we're gonna get the bridge, which is what most important. And then whatever, we're just gonna start molten raining. Like they crack these. Sure. Well, that color screws me. That color screws me so bad. Okay, so attack with the homeboys. You are for bring to light. Okay, deal. Flashback lingering souls. We're doing it. Cam Bolton right now. They sent me a message. Nice bobble. Oh man, I'm gonna molten raid my opponent into the Stone Age. Is this correct to do? Two, six, attack. I probably should actually just play Cam Ball. And then I'll Molten Rain him next turn. Because he's going to draw two cards. 
and two spells with a cam ball is pretty sketchy. I, I, I reserve the right, if it's super meme -y, to not. You, you should post the deck list beforehand. Because if you donate me an epic meme, I will just give the Barrero Brothers the money and not play your deck. If it's an obnoxious meme. A meme that I know that either of you guys are capable of doing. All right, there we go. Join match. That was quick. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to keep. We're going to get that old Bloodstained Mire in the swamp. You're playing whatever shitty Bring the Light pile I give you. You're so aggressive. All right, come on. Did I ever mention like my favorite thing to do when my opponent mulligans is hit them with a discard spell? It is just like the absolute stones. All right. I take I really want to take this spell bomb. No, that's so that's super loose. I'm gonna take this scavenging news. Pissing Quagmire, that's what they kept on top. Okay. Now I probably have to go get No, I'm actually just gonna get a mountain to play this. Because I need a white source to cast Lightning Helix, but even if I go get Sacred Foundry, I still need another land, and this, like, just sets me up decent. How's it going, Tommy? Tommy Clean Sock. I'll play the Neoform deck. All right. Give me the Bob. Tarmogoyf. All right, whatever. How many black sources do I want? I actually probably just don't even want a basic... Like, I want red sources. I should have just fetched a mountain. I don't know what I did there. I just, like, zoned out 100%. Should have fetched a mountain. I dealt myself two damage for no reason. Unless my opponent somehow magically finds an abrupt decay. Should be at 17. I do not... I will not block. You're gonna play a Nihil spell bomb. Oh, they drew that. You have Bobby. Bobby B, baby. I'll do it. Wrestling. I, I still I'm working to figure that out. So I just want to lightning bolt this. Play my land. Attack. Probably just chump block Tarmogoyf with this thing. Then start playing Chandra and start... I might take it, actually, because they don't have reach, and I would like to have more blockers and play when I play Chandra. Exclamation point wrestling. I think if you do non-caps, you should be good, Rob. You don't have one yet. All right, let's play this. And plus, no, and I'm just going to attack with my, my young pyramid, so I'm not blocking with it. All right, Nilla, what do you got? I need a list. They're going at me. I'm just going to block. Um, Camilla. Camilla. $10. 
I lived in the dono. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to keep up with all everything here. Okay, so this is Legacy. So I'll probably play Legacy on Wednesday. Okay, so untap. I'm going to play this because if I do cast a spell, I'm going to want to have make two elementals. Tilt. I also think I'm just gonna get greedy and like not block this Tarmogoyf. If my opponent attacks me, like I'll just go to four. Like with just one black mana, there's not a lot my opponent can do to me. And with two Pyromancers, I'm just good. Hey, how's it going, Aaron? Yeah, I'm just not gonna be a coward. This isn't a coward stream. Cowards can't block warriors. Because if I just find a spell, like. I'm going to make a million tokens. My opponent's got one of their cards is Liliana. Fatal push. Jerk. That is rude. All right. I'm sick of not drawing. God. I'm just not going to cast this. We're, we're punished for not getting a white source. God, we might actually lose this game, which is just wild. If we lose this game, I'm going to be super sad. And you draw, like, Lightning Bolt. If I draw Lightning Bolt, I'm good. Because, like, Lightning Bolt with the emblem kills them, right? Five damage to any target. Come on. Oh my god. I guess I could make the emblem and then shoot, but then the this grows. Yeah, the Tarmogoyf grows. So that doesn't even do it. This is wild. I'm going to lose this game. Because this becomes a 5-6 and this doesn't even do it. So I actually have to just go up. Holy shnikes. I can't believe that happened. Cannot believe that happened. There's the Faithless looting. What a tilt. Looting would have just killed him. All right, I'm going to bring in all the cards that do stuff. And then I'm going to sit over here and salt off. Uh, I'm going to get rid of probably like a Thought Seize because discard's not as good. All the rest of my cards are pretty good. Like, I don't really want Molten Rain. Camball's fine. I'm just going to hit Submit. Sideboard in one thing. Dude, I can't believe we lost that one. That was depressing. You guys are great. We've already raised... How much have we raised tonight? Are we up over $100 yet? Almost. We are almost up over $100. We've raised $20 more tonight. Look at that. We're making it happen. We're sending the we're sending these guys around the world so that they can be in the Olympics. So that they can win. And we're gonna watch me lose laughable games to do it. I would like to play first. I got a mulligan. Keep this one. Oh, yeah, we're in, like, the card disadvantage hard lock here. I'm not even going to cast my looting. I'll put that on the bottom. I'm just going to go mountain. And if my opponent has, like... I just don't... I, don't, I want my cards. So this will give me more information, at least, or I can do it after. Don't... You bastard. Sorry, if they take Pyromancer, then I can at least dig for another answer. Or another duder. That's not a bad draw. I like all my cards. I almost don't even want to. All right. I can work with that. God. For the love of God, please play a Dark Confidant. Uh, you 
scheduled until next end step. God. At least we can play Lingering Souls next turn. Which will be nice. And then my opponent just slams a Liliana the last hope. Our opponent does play Last Hope. We could have beaten that if we'd have fetched a Black Land. So. <clears throat> Alright, Scavenging Ooze. Annoying but beatable. Keeps my looting. Even my pyro, I can get my pyromancer back. So return target creature, bang. Give me the twofer as you free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. That was a good. That was a good turn. Ooh, you got yourself a Bob. Give me land. It's okay. I'm just gonna kill Bob. We're gonna keep my opponent out of cards. The next turn we can go like Pyromancer plus Inquisition, make a token. I'm gonna try to play two. I don't have to go to work super early tomorrow because I, I gotta be here. Okay, so that's not bad. So let's go here. Hit my opponent with that discard spell. Probably kill it, yeah. Good. And I'm just going to take the Assassin's Trophy. And it's kind of like, we have nothing, they have nothing. It's like three, three one ones against a Tarmogoy if they get the first draw step. They hit a land, okay. Not going to block. And here it would be nice. Can I race this time away? Three, eight, ten, five, six, three dead, yeah. My opponent plays another Tarmor Wife, things could change, but as it stands, we're not gonna do that. Alright, they hit a field run. They're gonna field this. We have a planes, joke's on you. Okay. Ha. Attack, play lingering souls. Yeah, really, that is that has not been great. I, I played a I played a godless shrine when I went to the GP. That's because I played two two Liliana the Veils in this deck. I really like Liliana in this deck. I think I think they definitely definitely should be included. We're gonna get submit. We get the no land heater. Probably should have boarded my blood moons out on the draw. At least my opponent will get the six. This is a good six. Like, we'll put that on top. Like we have we have a threat removal. We're a little short on land, but like, you know. I can get a mountain here and feel okay with it. I probably just won't fetch if my opponent doesn't play something that I can bolt. Ooh, that's dead. Our hand's nice. We're a little, we're a little weak to like a Liliana exactly this turn, but that land makes it so K command is still not a problem for us. Or like because we can, they go edict, we just go like kill your edict, bring back pyromancer. 
Or we can make them discard a card because we'll have uh, another one. Make sure you got a little bit of monkey business from our opponent. I uh, really don't want to run my Pyromancer out there. So, like, what I can easily do is go, like, if they don't do anything, just go make you discard, return Pyromancer. Then I can just play double Pyromancer the turn after. I don't really want to commit... Goif. Sure. I think I'm still going to make them discard and I'm going to return my Pyromancer. And I don't, I'm going to be doing a lot of shocking. I'm going to get double black. I can also just go terminate into Pyromancer, which is also nice. What do I do? What could their last card be? It's If it's a removal spell, it's a fatal push. And if it's a fatal push, I'm just gonna play both guys. Yep, we're just gonna take this. We're gonna put our sorcery on the stack first. Okay. Honestly, I might just, I'm gonna fire off an inquisition now just to add four tokens there. I can just chump the Tarmogoyf. It makes my it makes future um Yeah, you got it. You took my discard spell. It makes future lingering or faith looting's a little worse. But like you know, whatever. I don't know, probably should just crack both their field of ruins, yeah. Cause you, like if they hit Dark Confidant here, it's actually pretty nuts. Alright, they hit a land. Which means they can get a little bit of they can get a little bit of monkey business going on. Alright, I'm just gonna trade with this. And I'm not gonna block the Tarma Wife yet. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Mm -hmm. Refuel. All right, um, whatever. If my opponent wants to race me, they're going to lose pretty miserably because we're going to play and flashback Lingering Souls next turn. Or we can just play Bedlam Reveler. So, like, whatever. Phil is napping. He's, he, or actually, he's probably just gone to bed. Damnation would suck. All right, that's a good draw. Kill a token. My phone can't attack. So I can just go. Play flashback and attack. I honestly think I'm just going to attack my opponent. Like, flash this back. Yeah, I'm just going to send these out my opponent. Like, whatever. They can have that Liliana. Okay, sure. All right. Playing for the 4-1. Here we go. 4-1's a good way, to, good way to start the night off. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. Tonight we're playing donation deck lists f to benefit the Barrero Wrestling. We're almost up to $100. So, you know, for $10 more, one more donation, you can get us over $100. Um, the Barreros are 
members of the Canadian national wrestling team that are trying to raise some funds to go around and do trials, cover their training. So if you have a little extra cash, send it on over. Tonight, after we finish this league, we're going to play some blue-red kiki-jiki. So let me link the Barreros in there. If you donate to the Barreros, then you should um, either send me on Twitter or something like that. Send me, send me the receipt so that I can see that you guys um, did it. And you can send me a deck list. So there's that. There's where they are. You can learn more about them. All right, I would like to play first. I'm going to keep. This hand's kind of medium, but I'm on the play with a discard spell. Trying to get 500 bucks by the end of the month. 500 bucks, and we'll be in good shape. Of a big help to them. I think, what are they up to for their donation goal? They're, uh, they've raised $1,563 of 5000 So, you know, even though we're certainly making, making inroads, they have a long ways to go. So anything that you have is, anything that you can afford to give is, is great. All right, my opponent's apparently got a close one. Hopefully it's one of those close hands they just keep. Chancellor, all right, here we go. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what happens here. Okay, so Simeon Spear Guides, the hand doesn't do anything, right? Because they don't have the Allosaurus Rider. I just want to take their creature. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the creature because they might be able to start a chain. I don't know enough about this deck, but yeah, I think I'm just going to take their creature. This might be just wrong, but like again, like I'll, I'll just you know come out and say I don't I don't know enough about this deck to know exactly how it works. But maybe there's like a chain they can start or something like that. All right, give it the pass. All right, yield until next end step. Gemstone mine. This still doesn't do anything. Um, I guess I'll just get a sacred foundry. And then I'll just play Lingering Souls. I still kind of want to play Lingering Souls because it's the most efficient play. And then next turn I can go Pyromancer plus Lingering Souls. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just going to be mana efficient. Though I might go, nah, Chandra's. What does Chandra let me do? If I go, Chandra just take up and nug my opponent for two, and then I can make mana, then kind of go nuts. I guess I should play Chandra, because moving towards its ultimate is going to be faster than whatever else I'm doing. That's what I thought. I was like, this kind of does, what's the move to what they're looking to get to? Just going to get a swamp in case we draw Blood Moon. Actually, I'm going to plus make Pyromancer. And just hope they don't kill me. They're just drawing. They're just literally just drawing lands, I think. All right. Well, now I'm just going to shock that and make them discard a card and then 
play Lingering Souls. Okay, they did some other Soon Spear Guide. Oh, I meant to plus for mana. That sucks. I did the wrong Chandra plus. Whoops. It's all right. We got in there for two damage. So we kind of have a clock on him at least. All right. Again, I don't really have any idea how their deck works. I know they have Gristle Brand, so I probably should bring a Needle. And Snaring Bridge is probably fine because then that Gristle Brand can't attack. These cards are probably nonsense. This is probably nonsense. Um, maybe I can just Molt Rain their lands. It's probably better than like this. This is what we're going to do. All right. Hopefully we can win this game. Hopefully we don't just get destroyed here. Beware of, her, of Chalice. Okay. All right, I mean, this hand's kind of what we want to be doing. Like, they're not going to be able to attack through this, so. I mean, this bridge has got to be. Hopefully, this bridge just takes us there. All right, what do you got? I put a card on top. Don't kill me. Uh, I'm going to Thought Seize just to make. Well, I'm going to Inquisition. Okay, so they put a card on top. I'm just gonna get rid of this Neo form. Question mark. What if they if they now what does Summoner's Pack what does Allosaurus Rider do? Allosaurus Rider. So I have two green cards from your hand. So I should take the pact. Because they can just play the rider, exile these, and then like the rider and play on its own might be difficult. And again, that's just kind of me not knowing what's going on with this deck. I haven't put in my, I have not put in my effort. I might just discard spell them again and then just like just to get maximum stuff out of the way. Is it supposed to take Neoform? Well, don't they just summoners packed? For Allosaurus, but then they just die. Never mind. I'm so stupid. And they just die. Yeah. It's not Green Sun Zenith. Nope. Yeah, I made a mistake there. All right, we'll be able to do it again. I also want to run Lab Maniac as a wing con. Okay. What is my opponent doing here? Hopefully, my opponent's not just like salting off, as that would suck. I actually start to get ready my next deck here while my opponent's slow, being slower than Frozen Ketchup. So let's load up our blue red Kiki Jiki deck. Let me just get some card. Come on. Available loan balance. I can just take this out. 
can get two modern decks. Come on. If my opponent just salts off, I'll just hit him with this. I'm gonna just put this deck list up while I while we wait for my opponent. Oh nope, they're back. Okay, so we just played Yavamaya Coast, which is what they drew. Um, I guess I'll just play Pyromancer. I don't. I don't think there's a way they kill me, even with this this hand here. All right, let me attack. Should I get that in play? No, they, they were just tweaking out, looks like. Manamorphose. What a dumb magic card that is. Okay. All right, let's thought seize. Always yield. Convoke, Trample. Okay, that card doesn't matter. I kind of just want to take Simeon Spirit Guide. Don't, don't they have to attack with Gristlebrand? I don't know. Like I said when I was getting in here, I don't know a whole lot about this deck. But don't they put, like, flop Gristlebrand into play then attack a bunch of times? I'm just going to take this Spirit Guide. Their hand's redundant. Why would I take... The Neo Form is just as redundant. They don't have to attack. Okay. To draw their deck, and then how do they win? They win with Lab Maniac? Like I said, I've seen this deck. I should have played a land. Put it back in my hands. They play like ad nods. Okay. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a Fury of the Horde kind of thing. Like get Gristlebrand in play. And then just like attack. Okay. Okay. All right. Lightning Storm is a common win con. So Lightning Storm is what we want to name with Needle. My opponent is once again chilling in their upkeep, so I will get this deck just so that we have it. Yeah, and my sideboarding here is just not knowing. So, like, yeah, I made a mistake here. But isn't... Isn't, this, like, this, this thing the same thing, Teddy, right? I mean, their hand's super redundant, so I should just take a non-redundant piece, right? All right, I'm going to bolt my opponent. Speed up this anemic clock. All right. All right. <clears throat> Opponent is nearly dead. We'll hold that one, as the first one's not apparently not great. <clears throat> okay. 
so they're just gaining a million life. Okay, so we know their hand. Jeez. For a deck with not a lot of lands in it, we need a Faith of Sitting, like, really bad. I mean, at least our opponent had to use a combo card to, like, not die. I'm going to play a land, I guess. This deck is worse. Yeah, I would assume it's much worse. Like, as soon as you mulligan, rut row. Okay, well, if they activate Gristlebrand, they're going to die. All right, that's good. Let's play a land. There's a chance we can just beat this Gristlebrand. No, we're not even close to dead. My opponent's at nine. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need one more body. And then we just kill them on an attack. Or should I bolt? No, I can't bolt them. They do have to natural draw shoal. But that doesn't quite work yet because it's just eight points. Like we need one more. We need one more token, basically. It's, it's a donation deck. It's a donation deck to do the cause we're working on, which is right up there, I think, is the right way it is. Card hoarder, hang on. Yes. Let me get my card hoarder. I'm actually just going to bolt my opponent in response to that because that makes it so that any other instant speed card is good. Because I don't want to have to bolt, like, the Gristle brand. Because that's what my bolt is turning to be. And I'll find an instant speed removal spell eventually. Because now if I draw a removal spell, they're dead. And they could just, like... If, if I just let this resolve, they just draw seven. They try to kill me this turn. And now they can't do that. Yeah, I mean, we could be in trouble. They do draw at least seven cards here. So they just didn't do it, okay. All right, looting should find me what I'm looking for. Okay. So now I just attack and I bolt whatever my opponent blocks and then we should be good. All right, there we go. I got a terminated gristle brand also, I guess. So we got the four one. I'm not gonna talk too too much about the deck because we're just gonna get in there. It would have been more correct to just bolt the to try to kill the thing on a jigger. Yeah, I messed up there. All right, we're just gonna jump in. Let's stop this video.